so Edward Ladderclimber has agreed to make another appearance on the interview to talk about the current state of the arbitration process. I am more than a little worried that he will end up looking like a fool again and we will get tarred with the same brush. I don't care how we look, I am more concerned with how our, I mean Lisa Yates, new arbitrator, Pierre Dupuy, looks, Dupuy will be fine. Our, I mean Lisa Yates first choice, Charles Reginald Hampstead Wilson Trophy to the fifth had no labor experience and could not speak French. Of course he was going to get tossed. Pierre Dupuy on the other hand speaks both languages fluently and has plenty of labor experience. Labor experience, yes, but on our side. He also has close ties to the Conservative Party. Yes, we may have the mainstream media and government in our pocket, but Harper has yet to bring the courts into line and that is what worries me. The courts agreed with CUPW and tossed Charles Reginald Hampstead Wilson Trophy to the fifth and Pierre Dupuy has an even worse problem, an appearance of bias, where Edward thinks that his upcoming performance on the interview will give him a chance to frame the debate, to turn the criticisms into positives. I am sure he will do well. Fiddlesticks, what am I saying? Hello and welcome to the interview. We asked Canada Post Senior Vice President in charge of moving forward, Edward Ladderclimber to join us once more to discuss the current state of the arbitration process between Canada Post and CUPW. Hello Eddie. Hello Linda. Please call me Edward, Edward Ladderclimber or Mr. Ladderclimber. Okay Climber, whatever you say. So, just what is the current state of the arbitration? Well Linda. We are very pleased to have got past the negotiation stage. It was completely unproductive trying to move forward by rolling back through negotiations. That insufferable union was against every single rollback, against any service cutbacks, and they also wanted us to protect our injured and ill. What were they thinking? Thinking like rational human beings for one thing. You got your nasty legislation passed by your pals in the conservative government and you are now in the middle of the legislated final offer arbitration process. Well, not really in the middle. CUPW managed to get our, I mean Lisa Reitz first choice, Charles Reginald Hampstead Trough Eater the Fifth removed. Charles Reginald Hampstead Wilson Trough Eater the Fifth had no labor experience and could not speak French. I will concede that he was not bilingual but to say that he had no labor experience. Come on. Who served him his gin and tonics at the tennis club? Who waxed his snow skis and shoveled the snow at his chalet? Who the hell maintained his Mercedes? Labor, that's who. Charles Reginald Hampstead Trough Eater V has probably had more interaction with laborers than any other arbitrator in the country. Oh my goodness. Okay, Eddie, now we see a second arbitrator appointed. That is Edward. But yes, we, er, I mean Lisa Reant carefully chose our, um, her second candidate to counter the criticisms of the first. Pierre Dupuy is fluent in both official languages and has an impressive labor-related resume. His labor experience includes representing Canada Post. He is also a failed conservative candidate. There is an obvious bias there. People change. Just because he ran for the conservatives in the past does not mean he supports him now. Look at Stephen Harper. Just a decade or so ago, he was one of the most published anti-Canadian voices out there and now he is the Prime Minister. I would maintain that Harper is still anti-Canadian, but that is a topic for another day. Climber, Pierre Dupuy's history with both the Conservative Party and Canada Post is far too cozy for him to serve as the arbitrator. The courts will surely have him removed. Look. It is not like he has the conservative logo tattooed on his heart. Funny you should say that Eddie, the interview's crack team of investigative journalists have managed to obtain a very telling image. An image that on its own may sway the courts. I am going to show you this image of Pierre Dupuy taken at a pool party at Lisa Reitz's home but I have to warn the audience that this image is not suitable for all ages. Here it is. That is it. I have had enough. I am ending this interview right now. And, once more, there you have it. Be sure to tune in next time to the interview.